So the end of the Premier League season is now upon us. Crystal Palace is the last game we've got left at Old Trafford. The theatre of draws, that's what it's been this season. But can Manchester United finish off with a bang, with a win? It'll be nice. And three days before the Europa League final, the main concern is making sure our players do not get injured. But how is our form going into the game? Our form is diabolical at the moment. Swansea, one all draw. Then you had the 2-0 loss to Arsenal. Then the 2-1 loss to Spurs. And then a 0-0 dour draw at St Mary's against Southampton. Manchester United are not in the best form going into this Europa League final. But hopefully this Crystal Palace game will be a little bit different. And I think it will be because Jose Mourinho has already made it clear he intends to play a lot of youngsters in this game. We could see Joel Pereira in there, could see Josh Harrop, Matty Willock, Matthew Olasunde, Axel Tuenzebe. Lots and lots of youngsters are going to be played in this game. And I think that should up the tempo. I think they will be, this is their biggest game of the season then. This will be, they'll be hungry to, to shine and to impress. And they won't let it be a game that just dribbles along to be another nil-nil. And that's the reason why I'm excited, actually, to see this Crystal Palace game. But how is Crystal Palace's form? Obviously, they have been fighting a relegation battle all season under Sam Allardyce, and they secured their place in the Premier League with a thumping win over Hull at Selhurst Park. Their Premier League status is secure. So this game doesn't mean anything for Man United because we can't get higher than sixth. The game doesn't mean anything for Crystal Palace. They're already secure in the Premier League. They're already in party mode. So hopefully that means it will be just a game where two teams want to score goals and go out to win a match. Hopefully. Now our most recent meeting came at Selhurst Park early this season thanks to a late, late, late goal from Zlatan Ibrahimovic. It looked like one of those another frustrating draws that Manchester United have been having so many of where we just control and dominate the opposition but didn't score. But Ibrahimovic came up with the goods right at the end. A wonderful goal. And we're obviously going to have to do without Ibrahimovic. But who is going to play in his stead? I'd be very surprised if Marcus Rashford was risked from the start against Crystal Palace. Maybe we'll see Wayne Rooney start up there. Maybe Anthony Martial will be given another opportunity to impress. But without Ibrahimovic, we have looked slightly toothless in attack. But with Ibrahimovic, we almost look slightly toothless a lot this season as well. So we definitely need to sort our striking problems out next year. Are there any major concerns for Manchester United going into this game? Given our recent form, I would say yes, but because I know that the youngsters are going to play this game, I'm looking forward to it. I think it will actually be a really good game. Jose Mourinho will want the, the players to give the fans a good send-off at Old Trafford to end the year on a high, especially three days before the Europa League final. The younger players will be desperate to impress. They'll give everything for the shirt on the day. And I think Crystal Palace will go for it as well. Wilfred Zaha is in fantastic form this year. He'll be desperate to score at Old Trafford against his former club where it really didn't work out for him. So I think it's going to be a sort of testimonial atmosphere, testimonial feel to the game. And normally in testimonials, there's lots of goals. So hopefully it's going to be the same thing on Sunday. Who do I think is going to start? Make sure you check out my Start 11 Predictions show. Separate video as always. We'll leave a link in the description or some sort of video coming up here towards the end of it. So make sure you check that out. But what is my prediction for the game itself? I'm actually going goals in this game. I'm going 3-1 to Manchester United. As I said, maybe I'm being a slightly over-optimistic here, but I think the youngsters are going to change how the United are playing. I think they're going to add a real youthful vigour into the team. And we've seen how much that can improve Manchester United with the breakthroughs of Marcus Rashford and Anthony Martial. But I'm going for 3-1. I think Crystal Palace will score. Maybe it's going to be Zaha. But I just hope that United attack, attack, attack. And just finish the season on a high at Old Trafford. Yes, it's been a lot of frustrating draws there. Yes, we finished sixth. But it doesn't matter if we win the Europa League. And let's go to Stockholm on the back of a win. And just give something back to the fans who have gone up and down the country. There every single week, 75,000 Reds in Old Trafford. Let's give the fans a win. That's what I want to see from the team. But what is your prediction? Am I being over-optimistic here? Is it going to be another dull draw, maybe? Let me know in the comments below, as always. Drop a like on the video. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.